Welcome or welcome back to the Lockwood Chronicles. My name is Larissa and today we are doing we are doing my July TBR. <laughs> so I'm being a little ambitious this July and I have eight books on my TBR. Obviously if you've seen my past wrap-ups I have exceeded that. Well, June was a little meh. Even though I'm probably going to be just as busy as I was in June, I really want to get to all these books so badly. So fingers crossed that we can do it. We we can read all these books. <laughs> I even had to like take some off because I'm like, there's no way. There's no way I can get to that. But maybe if I finish all of these, I can get to that one. I've been really doing really well about sticking to my base TBR. I'm really proud of myself. High five. First book up is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. This is part of the Throne of Glass series as of right here and we're getting there. This is the second to the last book and I have just been really loving this series and so this one is the same time frame as the previous book. I'm blanking on that title and of course I left it downstairs but it's in a different POV and we're following a different character. This one and then the previous one people typically will tandem read. I don't want to do that. That's too confusing. Oh my gosh there's a wasp at my window. You better not be inside. No okay we're good. The next book up. <laughs> this is on my summer TBR and it is one that I have already read and I will probably be pairing this with the audiobook but this is Crazy Rich Asians but I read it very 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 long ago. It's by Kevin Kwan. I would like to read the remainder of the series so um, just to refresh I want to read this and to continue on with the series because I only ever read the first one and while I remember parts of it I do really remember enjoying it so I would like to reread the first one and know what's happening as I delve into the rest of the series. This is about crazy rich Asians. Yeah so this woman um, and Rachel Chu and her boyfriend Nick go to one of Nick's family's members weddings and he they are both like professors at a college and um, both very intelligent but he has neglected to tell Rachel how wealthy his family is and it is kind of a wake-up call it's about class differences having relationships even though there are those um, differences in class. Next up is no-brainer because I have been saying this for since it came out and that is Red, White, and Royal Blue. If you saw one of my latest book hauls, I found this one and I found one with the full cover, not the stupid whatever bookmark. I don't even know what that is, but I hate it. And that's the reason I didn't want to buy it because of that cover. Um, but I did find a full cover one. So this is by Casey McQuiston. And it is about the son of the President of the United States and the son of the English monarch monarchy. And it looks like they have a rivalry going on with like they don't like each other. So in order to um, show that the United States and the UK are simpatico and no bad blood, they need to do a, pun a bunch of like public outings and just kind of show that they are indeed friends. And then it turns into something more. And I'm so freaking excited. The movie is coming out in August. Ooh, so just in time to read this. I'm so excited to see the movie. The trailer looks so so good. Um, so I've heard really really good things about this one and I'm so excited to read it finally. Next up we have Once More With Feeling by Alyssa Sussman. Again I haven't heard the best things about this which is making me really nervous because I really really enjoyed her other her previous book uh, Funny You Should Ask. However that one also people it was very hit or miss with and I it hit for me. So hopefully I'll like this one as well. And I just love the cover. It's so fun. Um, this is about Katie and her buddy Cal and it's a then and now timeline and friends to lovers kind of thing. That's all I want to know about it going into it. Oh she's a pop star. Next up is Love Theoretically by Ellie Hazelwood. I love Ellie Hazelwood's books. I She's an auto buy author for me. They are just so fun and quirky and I love that it also delves into more of the science and high academia world which you don't see that often with female heroines. So it's all of her books are just just so fun and like they're just 
candy to me. I just fly through them. I enjoy every single one of them. Yes, uh, she has gotten the reputation of like a copy paste repeat author. Like her books are very similar vibes. Nonetheless, I absolutely love them. But hers delve on a hint of like fan fiction and mainly like Star Wars and I love that. I love that. So I'm excited to see what this was. Apparently it's a between theoretical and uh what's the other type of physicist? There's theoretical and non-theoretical. <laughs> The next book is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. Again, I recently just hauled this if you want to check that out. Just this, the cover is so summery and I need to get to it this summer because the vibes. If I don't read it this summer, I won't read it until next year and we can't be having that because my TBR shelf needs to be read. It, there's too many. There's too many books that I have not gotten to. All because I'm a mood reader and also like because I'm also a seasonal mood reader. So we need to get to this one. This is about Knox and Naomi. And Naomi is a runaway bride. She goes to a small town where her evil twin sister used to live. So everybody hates Naomi and she's like, no, 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 that's not me. That's my evil twin sister. And her and Knox hit it off or something. I don't know. We'll see. Also, I have never read a Lucy Score book, so I'm excited to see what that has in store for us. Her her books are so chunky, so I'm a little intimidated to get into them because she has a huge backlist. And as we know, I am very much like love to go into backlist authors. So I'm really nervous that she's gonna be an additional one because the books are just so chunky. That's also the reason I haven't read a Mariana Zapata book. And I really want to. They intimidate me. I don't, they shouldn't, but they do. They're just so chunky. Next up, everybody and their mother has been talking about this and that means I want to talk about it too. And that is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. And funnily enough, okay, so there's been a shortage of this book. I, the day that I got this, I think I vlogged it or something. The day that I got this, I saw two TikToks or something about it prior or like Instagram posts. I'm like, oh, that looks good. I read a quick description and said it was about dragons and a school with dragons and magic and all of that stuff. So I'm like, that sounds right up my alley. I got mine at Costco. <laughs> Just happenstance. I always check out their book table. Ooh, this lighting is not doing well. Are we good? Uh, I always check the book table when I go to Costco. They usually have really good deals. I'm so sorry about the lighting right now. What is happening? I'll just scoot back. Yes? Okay. Well, <laughs> while my camera figures that out, um, we'll just rave a little bit. So yeah, I just check the table always at Costco and I usually buy a book while I'm there because they're super cheap and it's usually something that I would love to read. And Fourth Wing was on there with the sprayed edge. I do not own a sprayed edge book. And when I saw that it was the dragon, I'm like, auto buy immediately, need to snatch this up. So yeah, I'm excited to see what Fourth Wing has in store and why it has everybody in a chokehold. The last book, and it's going to be our Lockward Chronicles book club pick. And I've been saying I've been gonna wanna read this since it came out, since I got it in the book of the month box. What was it, a year or two ago? And that is Kaki by Vashnavi Patel. I'm so sorry if I just butchered that. Been putting this on my TBR for far too long. We just need to make it a book club pick. And I've heard amazing things about this, about um, a strong female lead, and it is a mythological retelling, specifically in more of the Hindu culture. I am really pumped about that. You know what, I'm just gonna read this tiny little blurb for you. I was born on the full moon under the auspicious constellation, the holist holiest? Oh, that's, that's an I. The holiest of positions. Much good it did me. So it sounds like Kaiki is gonna have some bad luck in her life, but I am excited to finally get to this. And if you want to read it as well this month with me, feel free. I'll have a spoiler free reading vlog along with a book club discussion episode where we will dive into more spoilers. So look forward to that. Oh, okay. So these are the eight books that I am hoping to get to in July. We'll see if I succeed or not. That's going to do it for us. Remember to respect others, respect yourself, and do something amazing with your day. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>